Hello and welcome to a new video from L Microbiologist. Today we're going to talk about a very important step in diagnosing tuberculosis, concentrating mycobacterium tuberculosis from clinical specimens like sputum or CSF sample. Why do we need to concentrate TB samples? Tuberculosis bacteria are usually present in low numbers in clinical specimens, especially early in the infection. That means if we stain or culture the raw sample directly, we might miss the bacteria completely. So we have to concentrate the sample to enrich it with any TB bacteria present and remove everything else that might interfere, mucus, debris, and other non-TB organisms. How is it done? The most common sample we deal with is sputum, thick, sticky mucus from the lungs. But sputum isn't easy to work with. It's full of mucus, dead cells, and tons of bacteria, most of which aren't TB. So what do we do? We liquefy, decontaminate, and neutralize the sample, all before we even stain or culture it. Step 1. Liquefaction. Think of this as melting the mucus. We use a mucolytic agent to break down the thick sputum so we can release the TB bacteria trapped inside and make the sample more workable. Step 2. Decontamination. Next, we need to get rid of the noise, the unwanted bacteria. We use a chemical, usually something alkaline, to kill off everything except TB. Why? Because mycobacteria are more resistant to harsh conditions than most bacteria. But here's the trick. If we overdo it, we kill the TB too. So the timing and concentration have to be just right. Step 3. Neutralization and centrifugation. Once the sample's been treated, we neutralize it to stop the chemical reaction. Then we centrifuge, spinning the sample at high speed to collect all the heavy stuff, including the TB bacilli at the bottom. That tiny bit of sediment we get? That's gold. That's what we use to make smears for acid-fast staining or to inoculate culture media. Why this matters? If you skip this concentration step, you risk missing the diagnosis entirely, especially in cases with low bacterial load. Concentration improves sensitivity and accuracy, and it's one of the reasons TB labs can detect infections earlier and more reliably. So to summarize, concentrating TB samples makes detection easier, it removes unwanted contaminants, and it gives us a better chance to see, or grow, the actual mycobacteria.